Trigonometry is something that will show up a lot in calculus, especially as we're evaluating functions. So knowing the unit circle will be important, as many of the exercises will be without a calculator. So unit circle was introduced to you in Algebra 2, and you reviewed it quite a bit in pre-calculus. So here it is. Notice um, the, the common angles are, are listed here in both degrees and in radians. It is important for you to know that in calculus, we will use radians only. So please uh, focus your attention on the radian measures here, as, as my exercises almost all will be in radians. So then each angle on the unit circle has a corresponding ordered pair that you, are want, you will want to become familiar with. Recall that the x-coordinate is cosine, the y-coordinate is sine, and then tangent is, the, res, is uh, the quotient of y divided by x. And then, of course, each function has a reciprocal, like the reciprocal of cosine is secant, so secant is 1 over x. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant, which is 1 over y. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, which is x over y. So yes, um, I hate when I have to say math. Some of math is memorizing, but you will need to know all of those ordered pairs. And so keep in mind, the unit circle isn't restricted just to these. You know, we have all the positive angles listed when I'm moving counterclockwise. So pi over 6 is just from the positive x-axis up this 30 degrees or pi over 6. We can also deal with negative angles. So negative pi over 6 would be the same thing as 11 pi over 6. Further, we can go all the way around the unit circle, all 2 pi radians, and then keep going. So for example, 5 pi over 2. 5 pi over 2 is really 2 pi all the way around plus another pi over 2. So 5 pi over 2 ends at the same spot as pi over 2 does. So let's practice evaluating some of these. So the sine of 2 pi over 3. So as I'm doing this, the first thing I do is I find 2 pi over 3. If you're more familiar, that's 120 degrees. But as I said, you need to know everything in radians. And sine is the y value, which is the square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 3 pi over 4, that's in quadrant 2. Cosine is our x value, so negative square root of 2 over 2. Tangent of negative pi over 3. So again, pi over 3 is right here, so the negative angle is simply the reflection of it across the x-axis. So negative pi over 3 is down here at 5 pi over 3. And tangent, we know, is the y value divided by the x value. So I have negative square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. So the, one, the dividing by 2's, notice, will cancel out of both. So I'm just left with negative square root of 3 over 1, which is just negative square root of 3. Cosecant of pi over 2. So pi over 2 is on the y-axis at the ordered pair 0, 1. You see there... Cosecant's 1 over y. So for us, 1 over the y value, 1 over 1 is just 1. Secant of negative 7 pi over 6. So I know 7 pi over 6 is right here at 210 degrees. Reflecting it over the x-axis, I know that negative 7 pi over 6 is the same thing as 5 pi over 6. Secant is 1 over x, so I'm going to have 1 over negative square root of 3 over 2. Remember, dividing fractions is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I have uh, negative 2 over the square root of 3. Again, so all I did was I just flipped this fraction, took the reciprocal of it. Um, you're familiar with, hey, no radicals in the denominator. So if I rationalize it by multiplying by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3, I get negative 2 square root of 3. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3. So there's that answer. Cotangent of pi. So that's on the x-axis at this point, negative 1, 0. Cotangent is x divided by y. So x divided by y. Dividing by 0 is undefined. So we'll just say that is undefined or does not exist. Here is an example I was talking earlier. You know, you can have uh, angle measures that are beyond... 2 pi, and in which case what we do is we just go around, keep going around the circle. 
So if I go around here, pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4. 9 pi over 4 is the same thing as pi over 4. Sine is the y value, so I find that this is square root of 2 over 2. And one more here, 11 pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6 is almost all the way around. Realize 11 pi over 6 is just the same thing as negative pi over 6. We call that the reference angle, pi over 6. Cosine is the x value. So I find it's positive square root of 3 over 2. As you're starting to memorize these, notice, again, just think about the coordinate plane. When you're to the left of the y-axis, all the x values are negative. Or, when you are below the x-axis, all the y-values are negative. So that might be easy to remember. So then notice, yeah, in quadrant 3 here, both x and y's are negative. While they're both positive in quadrant 1, x's are negative in quadrant 2, y's are negative in quadrant 4. Get that in your head. Again, it will come back to haunt you if you're not too familiar with it.